1,500 feet of extension, the territory this place covers is superior to the one of the Pyramid of Giza. The labyrinth is located in a two-story building and has more than 3,000 rooms, which are connected to each other by various tunnels and passageways. If someone tries to walk by it without any guidance, they can be lost in its infinity. Thousands of historians have confirmed the existence of this great labyrinth. However, to this day, nobody knows where it is. The only thing that has been found was a stone plateau, which served as a guide for this great labyrinth that was 300 meters wide. In 2008, a group of geo-radar specialists scanned the Egyptian plateaus and found what appeared to be a huge underground labyrinth. It stretched along the terrain and was just like the one described by many historians. Nobody is sure if it is the one that has been searched for years since it hasn't yet been explored nor excavated. The Sphinx of Israel In 2013, a group of archaeologists came across something they would have never expected to see in Tel Azor, Israel. It was only possible to find the legs of the statue and a plaque with the inscription of King Mycarinus, an Egyptian pharaoh who reigned 2500 BC. Experts estimate that if it hadn't been destroyed, it'd be approximately 3.3 feet tall and weigh 11,000 pounds. In addition, it is more than 4,000 years old. Although very few people understand why an Egyptian statue would be in Israel, most likely it was a gift they made to the king of Tel Azor. After all, this was a trading center in Canaan that connected Egypt with Babylon. That is, it was really important for the economic welfare of these two great powers in the area. So, many have concluded that it was a gift from the king. However, the doubts are still alive. Why would King Mycerinus send it? And why would someone destroy the statue almost completely? The only thing that is clear to us is that someone decided to build a statue 600 miles away from the Great Sphinx of Giza. The Unknown Queen of Egypt The tomb discovered by some archaeologists in 2015 has left many people with questions and doubts. The tomb that was in the pyramids of ancient Egypt belonged to an unknown queen. It turns out that tomb only had two inscriptions that were translated as the king's wife and the king's mother. Apparently, this queen had lived 4,500 years ago and had been one of the most important women of ancient Egypt, besides being one of the most powerful people of the time. Unfortunately, nobody knows what her name was. Some historians decided to name her Kentakawis III, due to the belief that this woman was the daughter of Kentakawis II. They even assumed this unknown queen was the wife of Pharaoh Neferefere and mother of Pharaoh Makahar. However, all of these are theories and are based on assumptions. There is no evidence or references in the entire history of Queen Kentakawis III, and although she was a truly powerful woman, today is a mystery to all of us. Do you have any explanation for anonymity? Did she commit a crime and therefore they erased her name? The Mysterious Death of King Tutankhamun King Tutankhamun was 19 years old when he died in very strange circumstances. Currently, no one knows for sure what happened, and his death is a mystery that has inspired many theories. It is known to all that this young pharaoh suffered from many health problems. In the first place, he suffered from several genetic disabilities that make historians believe his parents were brothers. In addition, he suffered from clubfoot and malaria. This probably sped up his death. Before his death, Tutankhamun had fractured his knee. This fact contributed to the theory that he was killed in a car. In the same way, archaeologists discovered his skull was fractured. Although for a long time, they attributed it to being stabbed in the head. Nowadays, they believe all of these fractures are due to blows during his mummification. However, the idea that he could have been killed is not ruled out. The truth is that the death of this pharaoh leaves many doubts. Anything could have affected or killed him. The only thing we know with complete certainty is that this is an unsolved mystery. Strange Building in the Desert A discovery made with Google Earth triggered a wave of speculation among UFO hunters. In the Egyptian desert, a strange and complex structure appeared that displays two long and pointed buildings surrounded by several circles. The existence of these structures east of the arid landscape Cairo was mentioned by some local news who described it as futuristic designs that could have an alien link. George Gerbanis, when uploading this video to YouTube, commented that it reminded him of Star Wars. This has caused many to believe this is a proof of the government's concealment of the alien activity taking place inside and outside the planet. In addition, this would explain why some pyramids were seen levitating in the desert. Other users have discarded the absurd idea that these structures have some extraterrestrial bond, and they have decided to believe that they could be a nuclear bunker an area farm or an underground base. 
Although, the idea that it's a missile launch site couldn't be ruled out either. Even among the most skeptical of this theory is Adam Luz, who said, It's right next to the highway. How secret can it be? The truth is that none of this clears the doubt about the structure. The Mummy Wrapped in a Foreign Book In 1848, a man bought from a merchant in Alexandria an ancient Egyptian mummy. For a while, he exhibited the mummy in his home as if it were part of his decoration. However, he had not realized how strange it was. A few decades later, when he decided to donate it to a museum, for scientists to do a series of tests, they discovered the mummy had been wrapped in the linen pages of a book. Surprisingly, these weren't written in Egyptian. The researchers took a long time to discover what language it was, but it has now been discovered that it's written in Etruscan, the language of an ancient civilization that lived in modern Italy. Very little is really known about that language. In fact, the words that wrap this mummy are the longest fragment in Etruscan ever found. We don't know what the text really says, so there are still many questions to answer about this artifact. It has only been possible to translate what appears to be dates and names of some gods. Making sense of the rest of the text would only be speculations. Do you think this is an Etruscan mummy? If so, what was it doing in Egypt? What do you think that text could say? The Destroyed Pyramid The top of the Jedifrey Pyramid was one of the highest in Egypt. In fact, the pharaoh who ordered it to be built made sure it was like that. Although he didn't have all the resources to build an immense pyramid, he ordered it to be created on a hill so that everyone could see his glory. However, for some strange reason, after thousands of years, almost all the pyramids of Egypt remained standing except for that of the Jedifrey. Its pyramid was totally destroyed and all that's left are remains of its base. Nobody has any idea what happened to this pyramid. However, there are still theories of what could have happened. Some believe Jedifrey died before this construction was finished, so it was canceled. Others think the Romans got rid of the stones about 2,000 years ago. And even some claim that the people of Egypt hated Jedifrey and that they would be totally willing to destroy a huge pyramid. The Disappearance of Queen Nefertiti Queen Nefertiti is one of the women who ruled Egypt, making her a legendary queen. She was the wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten and mother of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. However, there is a small detail that nobody understands yet. While the sepulchres of many pharaohs rise above Egypt, the tomb of this queen is missing. Its search became the obsession of many archaeologists, and in 2018, they thought they had found her in a secret chamber in the tomb of King Tutankhamun. However, when the place was scrutinized, they discovered there was nothing there. The strangest thing is that, in history, Nefertiti's death is never mentioned, and after the 12th year of Akhenaten's reign, she was never mentioned again. Some believe Nefertiti became a pharaoh, so she adopted a different name. Others claim Nefertiti was never a pharaoh and that the government of Egypt had done a great deal with her, since the sculpture of her face became famous. According to Dr. Tidsley, it's a fairly simple explanation. Since Nefertiti had been so important, that's why nobody knows what happened to her. The Lost Land of Punt The text of ancient Egypt is full of many references to a place called Punt. There is even a mural of the ancient queen of Punt in an ancient Egyptian temple. Apparently, this was an ancient African kingdom full of gold and ivory, in addition to exotic animals that thrilled more than one. It was such a powerful place that they nicknamed it the Land of God. Unfortunately, despite how wonderful and powerful this place was, to this day, we don't know where it's located. The only evidence we have of its existence are the artifacts that the Egyptians kept. One of them was the mummified remains of some baboons. In the desperation of knowing this kingdom's location, scientists studied these remains and determined the primates apparently came from the area that's now Eritrea, or east of Ethiopia. This small clue gives us a possibility to guess where to find Punt, although we have to admit this area is quite extensive for an archaeological search. And in case of finally finding this ancient kingdom, new questions and enigmas would arise before understanding the past and the disappearance of this kingdom. The Dendera Light On the wall of a temple in Dendera, Egypt, a mural with quite unusual and strange images was found. It shows a snake in a large sphere of fire raising from a lotus flower. This animal is supported by a pillar made of human arms.